All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Before we start this video, I just want to tell you, make sure you use the code YouTube in all capitals for 15% off on all products on GFXcomet.com. So uh, go ahead and do that for the products that you want to purchase. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this tutorial As you can see here, this is the 3d effects we are going to be creating It's actually pretty simple. So I'm just gonna take you guys Through all of the steps and the process to create this. So uh, if I go ahead and hide all of this We're gonna start with our text tool. So let's go over here click on the text tool I'm going to make my color into blue, so just keep, so just choose any color you want to use. There we go, and uh, actually I'm going to do orange for just, actually I'm going to do orange, just to change it up. And uh, I'm just going to type out comments. The font I'm using is called Arison Comic, you could go ahead and look it up on Google. Now I'm pretty sure you could find it. So, we're just going to take this, position it right in the center and now I'm just going to do some basic effects um, this video is not focused on the text effects so you could go back on our previous tutorials alright so now for the main part of this video how do we do that 3d effects it's actually really simple you just want to hold alt on your text layer and you just want to drag down and once you see this you just want to let go this is going to make a copy now I'm going to go to the FX icon on the duplicate we have just created. And you just want to drag this down to the trash can. There we go. That's going to get rid of the effects. Now you just want to change the color to a darker shade. And there we go. We're just going to move this up. Like so. Hit Ctrl T on your keyboard. Go up to the corner and hold Alt. And as you do that, you just want to drag, as you can see. So, we are almost there. Um, make a new layer. Go to your eyedropper tool, which is right over here. As you can see, and select the darker shade. Now you want to go to your pen tool, make sure it's on shape and fill is on while stroke is off. Now we're just going to zoom in and if you can see these corners you just want to fill these in and uh, that's basically what you want to do so let's go to all of these letters right over here and uh, let's just fill these in so we got that we have the E boom fill that in Right up here and also over here. And we are just about done. There we go. We have just finished this. Oops. Alright. So it looks it looks um it looks great, but if you see, let me just give you an example there are some effects on this one that makes it look just a tad bit better so we're gonna get on to that um select the top shape so if you see over here this is our front text right and this is all of our um 3d effects so just click on the top one hold shift click on the bottom text and hit ctrl g ctrl j and then ctrl e now what I basically just did is um, I flattened this into one layer while I kept a backup just in case we need to go back and uh, just restart make some changes I'm just going to put these back on so now I just want to make a new layer and uh, hold alt to go in between once you see this icon you just want to click this is going to clip this layer into here so anything I do is going to be within this layer's parameters as you can see take your brush tool um, the colors on black hardness all the way down 
and you just want to paint on the um, 3D effects as you can see so go ahead and do that just like that over here now go up to the filter blur Gaussian blur just blur it out just a tad bit and you can lower the opacity you can duplicate it once more and just do an overlay now do the same thing except this time you're going to use the white color so uh, yeah that's basically it I hope you enjoyed this video just take a second and uh, admire how great it looks but uh, if this tutorial helps you make sure you leave a like that's going to help out our channel a lot and uh, help this video get into the YouTube algorithm so uh, hit subscribe and uh, yeah that's basically it I hope to see you all in the next video peace